Today, I'll be talking about building a travel capsule. I'm going to Greece for two weeks and we're actually going to be living on a boat for much of that time as we go around the Greek islands. It's a bit of a dream holiday, to be honest with you. And because we're on a boat, there's very limited space for luggage, which means that I need to fit everything into this carry-on bag. So that means I need to be very intentional about what I bring with me. And I'm going to show you what I've decided to bring over the course of this video. I'll also be doing a follow-up video to tell you whether my travel capsule choices were successful or not. So subscribe if you want to have a look at that. You will want to stick around to the end of the video because I have found a really incredible bikini hack, which I really want to share with you. But first, this video is this channel's first ever brand collaboration. And I'm happy to say that it's with Lily Silk. Now, if you'll have watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm always talking about things like elevated basics. They're very, very important to me. I use a lot of silk in my wardrobe, for example, a lot of cashmere. So when Lily Silk approached me, of course I said, yes, I would love to work with them. They very kindly gifted me three pieces, which I'll share with you today, including this beautiful black, 100% silk, Spartium Razorback Top. They're environmentally conscious, so they use natural fibers, which again is very important to me. And they also have a zero waste policy, which means that any fabric remains are used to make things like hair scrunchies and eye masks, which I think is a fantastic way to operate. They use only premium materials like mulberry silk, for example, and Mongolian cashmere. Now, if you'll have seen any of my previous videos, you'll know how much I love wearing cashmere and silk because they are very breathable. They're very good for our skin, at least very good for my sensitive skin anyway. And they flow and drape beautifully on the body, which means that they end up fitting better than so many of our other clothes. They have an incredible selection to choose from, ranging from clothing to accessories to sleepwear, absolutely everything you can imagine. And speaking of sleepwear, I do have my eye on this set of pajamas seen here on Gwyneth Paltrow. And oh God, they look beautiful. So that's something I want to add to my closet at some point. Now, most importantly, Lily Silk were kind enough to offer you guys a discount code. So they're offering you 12% off and 25% off if you buy one item in women's apparel or sleepwear and you'll get 25% off the second item. The discount codes are up on the screen. I'll leave the codes and all links down in the description box for you as well. Now, the three pieces I'll be showing you are all things that I am including in my holiday capsule, and I'll explain why as I go along. I'm really excited to show you these, so let's get started. Starting with this razorback top I mentioned at the beginning, I love the casual razorback cut combined with the 100% silk fabric, and the minimal branding on the back is something I appreciate as well. You can see how soft and flowy the silk is, even through video, it, and it feels beautiful on the skin. I've paired it with these end of the stories linen shorts and included a linen shirt and espadrilles and my Nike sports bag to finish off the look. I'll be wearing this a lot just to go sightseeing and it's smart enough for a restaurant as well. I've also paired this top with this linen wrap skirt. And again, this is an outfit I will be wearing a lot day to day. I'm wearing my end of the stories sandals here as well. They're incredibly comfortable to walk in. And overall, this is a really light, breezy and comfortable outfit. As we all know, comfort is paramount when traveling. So I'll be wearing this bra, which is the one size fits most classic wireless silk bra. Since getting it, I've actually worn it all week. <laughs> it is the most comfortable bra I've ever tried on. The cup and strap lining are 95% silk and there's no wiring or back buckles, which means that it sits so comfortably against my skin. Because of the seamless design, it sits comfortably and invisibly underneath even sheer clothing. You can see this really light white top here. It doesn't leave a trace of the bra underneath. So it'll be fantastic to wear with all of the lighter tops I'm bringing on my holidays. They also sent me this beautiful silk cowl neck dress and I am obsessed with it. It has adjustable straps, which is fantastic. I'll be bringing it with me for any fancier occasions we have. We really love eating out and we do have a plan to check out some of the kind of higher end 
restaurants in Athens. So I'll be bringing this dress because it is so, so luxe and elevated and it'll look really, really beautiful whenever we're going out to dinner. It's a midi length and has a side slit, which I really love because it does help to elongate my legs. And I love how the dress drapes across my body. It falls really, really beautifully. And I know this is one I'm really going to be enjoying wearing. As well as a dress for nighttime, my travel capsule will also have a dress for daytime wear. And it is this linen dress from Marks & Spencer. It's really light and breezy and it'll be an easy throw on one piece. I won't need to think about my outfit really because it's all in one, I'll throw it on and off I go. And it will be really suitable no matter what we decide to do during the days. I obviously won't be pairing it with chunky leather boots in the raging heat. I'll swap them out for sandals, but otherwise I'd make no other changes to this outfit. I'm packing three different bottoms in my travel capsule. For maximum versatility, I've chosen three different types, a pair of shorts, a skirt, and a full length pair of pants. All of the pieces are linen, which is essential for me because I am going to Greece where it's much hotter than I'm used to. Same as at home, I'm limiting my color palette for my entire capsule to black, white, and blue. So all my bottoms are white or cream in color. For tops, again, I'm sticking to my color palette of black, white, and blue. In fact, for outfits, I'll probably stick to mostly black and white, as you see here, because it means that everything will go with each other pretty effortlessly. So I'm going to be bringing two white t-shirts, the Lily Silk silk tank top that you saw earlier. I'm bringing this long sleeve kind of heat technology top for colder evenings on the boat. And I'll get to it now in the next section on layers, but I'm going to be bringing a cashmere jumper as well. So it's going to be really useful to have a long sleeve top. And finally, I'm going to bring some cotton tanks with me as well. I'm bringing three layers, this oversized white linen shirt, which will also serve as a top if I need it to. For chillier evenings, I'm going to bring this cashmere sweater from Everlane as well. I can also layer that over the heat tech top you saw earlier if needs be. And finally, of course, I can't live without a blazer, so I have to bring one too. This one is the linen blazer from And Other Stories. So with these three layers, I think it'll allow me to create some very versatile outfits. If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a like. And of course, leave me a comment. Let me know if this is useful for you. And let me know if you're going on holidays this year. And if so, what you'll be bringing. I'll be bringing four pairs of shoes with me. First off are these sandals from And Other Stories. They're made of 100% leather and I actually wore them last year in Croatia as well. So, they know, so I know that they stand up to long days of walking and sightseeing and to heat as well. So very happy to bring these with me again. The second pair are of course these sandals from Arquette that I am obsessed with lately. I love the minimal design of these. They remind me very much of, of similar designs in Totem and the Row, and I really enjoy that minimal aesthetic. So these are slightly dressier with the small heel, so I will be using these just to dress up my outfits a little bit if needed. I'm going to be bringing these slides from Next. They're really cushioned and extremely comfortable to wear. So again, these will stand up to long days of walking and sightseeing and things like that. And finally, I'm going to bring these espadrilles because I have short legs. I'm only five foot two and I always need a bit of extra height. I, will not, I would not be able to travel without at least one wedge or heel. So these espadrilles are coming with me to fulfill that purpose. The espadrilles are from Next as well. And again, I'm going to leave links in the description box where items are still available. Some of the items I've shown so far in this capsule are sold out. I'll say that in the description box if they are, but otherwise I'll leave the link for them if they are still available to purchase. For a pop of color, I'm bringing this beautiful scarf. It is big enough to be a sarong or a skirt or even a top if I wanted to. So it'll add a lot of versatility as well as beauty into my travel capsule. Next is swimwear and I'm bringing two bikinis, one black, one blue and a one piece, which is in this beautiful royal bright blue shade. Now the blue bikini is really nifty and this is where I want to share with you the hack that I mentioned at the beginning. So. Basically, it turns out I'll probably have my period while I'm on holiday, which is extremely annoying, but I found this brand called Modi Body, 
and they make period proof swimwear, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I bought a pair, it seems really good quality and I'm gonna try them out. At least it means that I won't have to miss any swimming while I'm on my period. I'm also bringing three bags with me. The straw one on the left is from Dunn Stores and I'll be using it instead of a backpack. I'm bringing two crossbody bags as well, my DKNY bag and my Nike crossbody sports bag. I should also mention that while I'm not going to go into the makeup and toiletries and extra bits that I'm bringing, I will leave everything listed down in the description box in the hopes that it's useful for you. I'm also going to be bringing a steamer with me because I'm bringing so much linen and it does fit into the travel bag I showed you at the beginning. So I think it's worth bringing. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye.